Hi, my name's Dorian, and I work with Biofuel Watch. Drax Power Station is the world's largest biomass power plant, and the UK's single largest emitter of carbon dioxide. During the 2019 UN Climate Conference in Madrid, Drax announced its intention to become the world's first carbon-negative power plant. That is to say it will be locking up more CO2 than it emitted by 2030. It claims it will do this through a process called Bioenergy with Carbon Capture and Storage, or BEX, which is when the power station will burn wood pellets, capture most of the CO2 that gets emitted, and then store it underground. Drax is now seeking billions of pounds in UK government subsidies in order to make this dream a reality, but the process has a number of very significant drawbacks. This is the second of two videos we're making debunking myths about BEX. In the first video, we looked at Bex more generally, and in this one, we'll examine just how realistic Drax's scheme really is. Drax already burns more wood than the whole of the UK can produce for all purposes every year to supply us with less than 1% of the energy we use. This is why Drax and other big biomass plants are importing millions of tonnes of wood pellets each year, often from biodiverse forests in North America and the Baltic states. In order to secure biomass imports into the future, Drax has started buying up overseas pellet mills, including in Canada's stunning boreal forest. Drax has been involved with a number of pilot projects to capture carbon dioxide and put it to various uses. However, Beck's trials at Drax have only so far managed to capture one tonne of CO2 per day out of the 13 million tonnes that it emits annually from burning biomass, and it hasn't managed to actually store any of it. Clearly there is a long way to go in terms of scaling up this technology, but when pressed earlier this year during a consultation on its current proposals, Drax admitted that none of its claims about BEX or carbon negativity were based on past trials or any real-world evidence at all. Drax's plan for BEX involves the National Grid building a pipeline from its power station in Yorkshire all the way to the coast, where the CO2 will be taken in liquid form to be stored under the North Sea. As with any project like this, there is always a risk of accidents. A serious accident could be a climate disaster. Also, it has not been confirmed that there will be enough geologically suitable sites under the North Sea to store millions of tonnes of CO2. And there's been very limited testing into how stable those reservoirs will be. Carbon dioxide will need to be stored underground like this for thousands of years. And there is currently no plan in place for how to monitor leakage from it. BEX remains a highly speculative technology, and Drax is the only company in the UK currently proposing it. Drax currently relies on receiving more than £2 million in UK government subsidies every single day in order to support its current biomass burning. With those subsidies due to run out in 2027, Drax is looking for new reasons to continue receiving public money. The recently formed Coalition for Negative Emissions, of which Drax is a founding member, has called for investment in negative emissions technologies like BEX to increase by 30 times their current levels. In the UK, that would almost certainly mean a lot more public money going to Drax. Years ago, energy companies tried to convince governments to support new coal plants by promising they would be carbon capture ready, with no guarantee that they would ever capture a single gram of carbon. Luckily, in the UK, activists saw through it, and they managed to get every plant stopped. Drax is peddling the false solution of BEX in an attempt to remain profitable, in an era where dirty, centralised power is increasingly being overtaken by cleaner alternatives. To address the climate and biodiversity crises, we need to protect forests and move away from dirty energy. Burning trees in power stations can play no role in our future. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you missed it, part one, which is on BEX more generally, is available online. For more information on BEX, biomass, and other biofuels, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, or go to our website, which is biofuelwatch.org.uk.